Happy day after the Super Bowl, everybody, and welcome to the Outlaw Nation. I am the Outlaw John Roca. Thanks so much for clicking play on this video. And hey, this is a collection of trailer reactions for three of the big trailers that dropped yesterday. I did the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer reaction, which is up now if you guys want to watch that. And I had initially done a Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes trailer reaction and a uh, trailer reaction to the first look for Wicked, but those weren't performing quite so well in the first hour, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put those down for a little bit and let Deadpool and Wolverine rule the day yesterday. And sure enough, they have. If you haven't watched that, it's up. Please, I'm going to plug that again. Go and see it. Uh, but this morning when I woke up, I saw that the Real Rejects did a really smart thing. Greg Alba and John Humphrey over there, definitely go follow Real Rejects or subscribe to them if you haven't done that yet. Great content over there. But they combined all three of their trailer reactions into one video. And I thought, what? Well, you know what? That's genius. And I'm totally going to steal it. So no offense to the Real Rejects, guys. Great idea. If you don't mind, I'm going to borrow it or steal it here and use it for this video. So I'm going to start off with the Twisters trailer reaction here right after this. <laughs> Hey everyone, so really excited to jump in and take a look at this first trailer for Twisters. I was a massive fan of the original film with uh, Bill Paxton, the late great Bill Paxton, and Helen Hunt here. Uh, and this one, I was surprised to see all these years later that they were going to go back to the well and do a follow-up movie. But then they said this isn't necessarily a direct sequel, it's kind of its own movie. And this one stars Glenn Powell, Daisy Edgar Jones, and Anthony Ramos uh, in this film as well, directed by Lee Isaac Chung. And it's coming out on July. 19th and it's its own separate thing so I'm going to be curious to see the special effects nowadays to see what the story is going to be and if this one's going to capture some of the magic and fun uh, and the madness of that first Twister movie from I think back in 1996 you can check Scott Mance for uh, movie release dates I don't know them that well but I think that was around the time the Twisters ca Twister came out so I'm very curious to see what we're going to get in this first trailer from Universal Pictures so let's not uh, waste any time here let's get into this first trailer here for Twister Sisters. Guys, whatever's in there is big and it's moving fast. Drive. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh. It's not a cow. That wasn't a cow this time, at least. Nice, kind of dialing up the horror of this a little bit. There he is. Tornado wrangler. If you feel it, I said if you feel it. I love that power. All right, here we go. So clearly a thrill seeker who chases these tornadoes. Perfect. She's gorgeous. You thought you could destroy a tornado. We never had a chance. Oh, wow. Interesting. You want one? Whoa. You don't face your fears. <laughs> you ride them. Wow. I like the special effects here. Twin Twisters, wow. Interesting. Is that it? Nope. Oh. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I I I like that. There's no cow slamming into the windshield. There's no kind of like um populist mainstream humor here there's of course you've got glenn powell's character who clearly has a little bit of a caricature going on there and then you've got daisy Edgar jones not a lot with daisy Edgar, not a lot with anthony ramos clearly they wanted to focus on glenn powell's character here and what he's doing chasing their tornadoes down being that southern boy and being a tough ass sob but then you have this idea that it's introduced in the trailer here that she wants to destroy a tornado. So what's the connection here? Is Daisy Edgar Jones's character like connected to Helen Hunt's character, connected to someone who died in the first film or anything that happened there? Did she lose somebody? Like why does she want to destroy the tornado? Is it just scientific arrogance or ego or hubris or is it really something personal? 
I imagine it's something personal, which is why you cast someone like Daisy Edgar Jones. I want to see more of Anthony Ramos, so I like him. I like this threesome. It's a nice little threesome involved in this one as well. And I dug that they really leaned into the horror aspect of these things. And we've seen a lot of devastation over the last few years being attributed to, to, to cyclones, hurricanes, twisters, tsunamis, what have you, natural disasters. So seeing something like this and them not leaning into the comedy too much initially, I think it's kind of smart. And focusing on the action, focusing on the darkness of this all and the horror of it and seeing people uh, you know, dealing with it as a kind of a terror or a monster that's coming to kill them. So you have that aspect of it all. But I thought the special effects looked really good. I thought the pacing of this trailer was a lot of fun uh, in terms of like... Uh, seeming like they've got the right vibe to this one. Uh, and I like this, the seriousness of this uh, trailer overall as well. This also t- uh, stars Kiernan Shipka, uh, da- uh, David Corenswet, Sasha Lay, Maura Tierney, Katie O'Brien, and others. So that's a nice little cast here in Lee Isaac Chung's uh, uh, film here. So I'm looking forward to it, and I- I'm-, I'm absolutely in now. I was kind of hesitant. I wasn't sure. But after watching this trailer and the approach they're taking... I'm down, man. What did you all think? Did you like it? Did you like this trailer? Did it work for you? Did you like the imagery and the scenes, the action stuff, the look of the twisters, the fact you've got twin twisters, um, you know, kind of upping the ante, so to speak, here, and really leaning into the name of the movie? Uh, did you like what we're where we're setting this and how uh, the overall vibe and approach to this uh, trailer was and what it seems to be the overall vibe and approach of the film? Let me know down in the comments section below. Or was this kind of like a meh? Or um, I'm going to probably skip this one or it didn't really work or you didn't like the CGI. Let me know down in the comment section below as well. All right. uh, Stay tuned here. I'm going to jump back in with my Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes trailer reaction right after this. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed my Deadpool and Wolverine trailer reaction. If you haven't watched it, it's up there now. Thanks so much for clicking play on this reaction here for the first official trailer for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. This is one I've been looking forward to so much here. This is taking place centuries later after the last trilogy that we got here. This one directed by Wes Ball, who's a director that a lot of people are talking about behind the scenes. It may be the next one to blow up and go big time as a director. And I'm very curious to see what we're going to get in this first official trailer. We got definitely some references to Caesar's lineage and what that, how that plays out with the character they're focusing on in this uh, first, in this new film, in this new trilogy film here i think it's gonna be a trilogy film but we've got more to tell in this story so i want to take a look and see what we're gonna get in this first official trailer how much more of the footage and how much more of the um, performances that we're going to see in this one as well so without uh, wasting any more time let's take a look at this trailer here and see what we got from uh 20th century studios and disney (laughs) so crazy Are you familiar with the concept of evolution? Oh. Well, they're full on talking now, full on conversations. In their time, humans were capable of many great things. Noah! They could fly like eagles fly, they could speak across oceans. Oh, okay. Oh, very. This feels like the original Planet of the Apes now. We're going into that place. My kingdom. Oh, wow. Of course. We'll learn. Apes will learn high. We'll learn. And I. Oof. We'll conquer. Yeah, very much Nala from uh, Planet of the Apes, original Planet of the Apes. Legend says ape and human lived side by side. Impossible as that may seem. (laughs) Why do they hunt her? She's smarter than most. The elders did not tell us everything about this world. Interesting. Bend for your king. Apes hunt humans. Oh wow, look at that shot. That is wrong. Oh. Oh. Take 
Oh, uh, look at me. Come on. The beach? Come on. Apes on the horses? Come on. No. Together. Strong. There you go. That's the Caesar. Oh, this looks good. That looks good. I like it. As the first official trailer, get us more of the story. Uh, clearly, this is uh, Caesar's descendant who is questioning what is happening with the apes. You're seeing one ape certainly uh, crown himself king, and maybe that's been a generational thing. We don't know. We're going to check in on the apes and see where they're at on that. But, like, is this a king that's going to uh, take over and enslave a bunch of apes and make them, you know, pay pay uh, fealty to him, be loyal to him? Is that what's going to go on here? How much of this is going to be um, us exploring what we have did in our own world, what we saw in our own world? How many of the, how much of the stuff that we're seeing in this movie is going to echo into our world, our own global history, not just our country's history, but our global history of, you know, using slaves to build our empire or other other countries using or taking over like the Roman empire, taking over other ape villages, other ape nations and enslaving them and uh, removing their culture and making them be part of the culture that has been taken, taken them over. So there's a lot of that. And then of course him wanting to work with the humans, just like Caesar did. Caesar wanted to find a way for humans and apes to live together, but unfortunately he could not make that happen before his, the end of his life. And so maybe his descendant here is trying to bring that back and fight. You need that one person that is going to try to stop injustice and tyranny, work with the people that have been othered in a society so they can come together and destroy the overarching power that is trying to keep the um, the order in a way that benefits them and not benefits everybody. So certainly you're seeing that in all this, but the the imagery here is fantastic. I mean, that shot from above where they're all chasing her down, uh, the uh, them on horseback. I mean, you can't hide or you can't miss the allusions to the original planet of the apes just the costumes they're wearing the humans are wearing who are clearly enslaved uh you see them on the beach walking on the beach with uh apes on on horseback i uh, love seeing the apes with the falconer type of situation it's pretty cool as well but the imagery here is stellar the vibe and the intensity and the passion that you can see coming through in this trailer Looks really exciting and scary. You all know I fear a simian revolution. So seeing these apes be even more like li lifelike and stringing full-on sentences together, I think is very interesting. And how much is, is um, uh, Caesar's descendant going to find in these books? What, what uh, knowledge is he going to find in these books that affects him and changes him and educates him, right? Because that's the thing. Education changes you. Education makes you understand what's going on in the world. Education makes you see when people with limited thinking try to control your mind and keep you thinking one way rather than letting you think freely. So clearly you see that happening here in this trailer. I thought it was fantastic. So what did you all think? Did you like this trailer? Did it get you excited? Are you down to see this uh, film even more so now after that teaser trailer, now this official trailer? Let me know down in the comment section below. All right, thanks so much for watching this trailer reaction. Appreciate it madly make sure you hit a like on this video share it on your social media and hey more than anything else please subscribe to the channel down below hit that subscribe button hit that bell button all right this one's coming out on may 10th kingdom of the planet of the apes put it on your schedule and i'll talk to you next time universal pictures dropped a one minute teaser for wicked this adaptation of the broadway musical i'm gonna take a look at this one next. okay i can't even all right fine we'll take a look at this next <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's the Outlaw, John Roca. How you doing on this Super Bowl Sunday? Hope you're enjoying the game. Hope you're enjoying the trailers. Hope you're enjoying the trailer reactions. You know, I just dropped a trailer reaction for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and for Deadpool and Wolverine. So go and take a look at this one and I those ones, and I had to jump in and do a teaser trailer reaction for this one-minute teaser here for Wicked. Let me tell you something. Those of you who know the Geek Buddies, Michael Vogel talks my ear off about Wicked, for God's sake. So I have never seen the musical. I used to know someone who played Alphaba in the uh, touring production, and everyone spoke highly about how great this musical is. So, of course, this is highly anticipated coming out during Christmas season. I'm sure a lot of Oscar possibilities are in play for this one by, from director John M. Chu, starring uh, Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo. But, uh, so I'm looking forward to taking a look at this first teaser trailer here. So let's not waste any time because i got to get back to this game. And let's take a look at this first trailer. The best way to bring folks together oh, wow. is to give them a real good anime. <gasps> You're green. I am. Something <laughs> is not the same. 
something just takes over me. And when it does, bad things happen. Whoa, the fly monkeys! Once you learn to harness uh, your emotions. Yes, I'm sure you are. Yeah. the limit. Oh my god! I'm not afraid. It's the wizard who should be afraid of me. Okay. All right. I'd say I didn't like the uh, the singing there at the end. That seemed like a restraining to sing that song. But other than that, the production value on this is astounding. Absolutely astounding. If you're going to walk back into the world of The Wizard of Oz, which is what this musical is based on, you've really got to um, put out incredible amount of vibrancy and colors and um, make everything look very, very I I incredible uh, and fantasy-like uh, as well. And I thought they absolutely nailed that here. Great to see Cynthia Erivo. I love her as an actress. So great to see her uh, playing the part of Alphaba and, uh, and seeing Ari Ariana Grande as Glinda. You know, I'm not 100% sold on Ariana Grande making the leap here into theatrical stuff. Of course, she's been successful doing her TV shows, doing her music videos, do, you know, obviously a very, very well-known and fantastically successful singer, an incredible singer as well. But making that leap to theatrical, that's not easy. That takes a lot. And I don't know if I saw enough here in the trailer to make me think she's ready to make the jump. We've already seen that with Cynthia Revo uh, a few times in another Oscar-nominated actress there. So it's going to be interesting to see the dichotomy here, too. Um, and uh, obviously the hinting of, you know, she's um, she's going to become uh, the uh, evil witch. And so her re saying, you know, things some things take me over, bad things happen when things take me over. So what is this going to be an illusion to? Of course, you're going to try to make it connect with stuff that's going on in our world. What is it? What are they going to confront? What are they going to look at with each other? And again, I've never seen the musical, but I have an idea of it. Uh, I think they were friends in the past, and now this is the first time they're seeing each other. So we see the beginning of the trailer, and she's green now. What does that mean? She's gone the good route. Um, Glinda has, but Elphaba has gone possibly the, the darker route, but she finds beauty in the darkness. So definitely this is going to be interesting to see how they pair up and how they uh, have back and forths uh, in terms of their characters and the development going on with these characters as well. And in the description of this one, we find out that they uh, have some complications in adulthood as they contend with political strife and a love triangle, school hunk Fierro. So I, I have never seen Bridgerton, the actor there, Jonathan Bailey and Bridgerton. Uh, so I don't know if we saw him in the trailer, uh, but uh, clearly that's going to be an element of this as well. So very curious. But look, right off the bat, visually stunning Looks like John M. Chu knows exactly what he's doing with this musical. I'm very excited to see part one of this musical and see what we're going to get from Ariana and from Cynthia Rebo in their interactions. Michelle Yao looking fantastic. Jeff Goldblum there is the wizard. Perfect choice for the wizard. So I am curious and excited coming out of this trailer to see what we're going to get when we get a full official trailer uh, down the road. So what do you all think? Did you like this teaser trailer? Did you get you excited? Did you know? If you're, if you're a big Wicked fan, are you like, okay, I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm feeling like we're in the right hands. I think people understand how to transfer this visually to a the theatrical adaptation. Are you excited by this? Or are you a little worried? Are you a little trepidatious? Did it not quite work for you? Let me know down in the comments section below. Because remember, the originals are Kristen Chenoweth and uh, Idina Menzel. And that's a tough act to follow. But let me know down in the comments section below. Hit a like on this video. Share it on your social media. And hey, more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. All right, take care of yourselves. Be well and look for Wicked coming out here on November 27th, part one of it. And I'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation. All right, gang, thanks so much for watching all three of these trailer reactions in one video. I hope you don't mind that I had to just attach Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and Wicked without some special intro connected to this overall video. But I thought it's a way for you guys to watch those trailer reactions and enjoy them. And I hope you did. Thanks so much for subscribing to the channel. Leave all your comments down below below and i'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video or series of reaction videos here from the outlaw nation take care